Welcome to the Web Wheel Products Maintenance Video Vault. In previous videos, we demonstrated the procedures for assembling various wheel end mounting systems with outboard mounted brake drums. This video will illustrate the possible ramifications if proper procedures are not followed. Let's begin with a brief review. In earlier presentations, we explained that the hub must be rotated so that one of the brake drum pilot pads is at the 12 o'clock position. We also explained that it is extremely important to follow the proper tightening sequence, beginning with the stud in the 12 o'clock position. When these procedures are followed, the total indicated runout of the drum braking surface to the axle center line should be less than 20 thousandths of an inch, indicating that the drum and brake are concentric. If the drum slips from the hub pilot during installation, tightening the stud in the 12 o'clock position first will help the drum properly re-engage the hub pilot. If you assemble a wheel end with the hub pilot pad in a random orientation and tighten the studs in a random sequence, this could prevent the drum from properly re-engaging the hub pilot if it slips during installation. Reviewing the total indicated runout from this improper installation reveals a value exceeding the recommended 20 thousandths. This will cause all the braking energy to be forced through the offset region of the braking surface rather than being uniformly distributed 360 degrees. This will lead to uneven wear and vibrations or an out-of-round feel. Inspection of this brake drum's pilot reveals an indentation indicating a mismount. Further inspection of the hub's drum pilot reveals deformation as if the metal has been shaved. This damage will prevent future drums from centering properly, so any hub with this type of damage must be replaced. Operating with a misinstalled brake drum causes the braking surface to wear unevenly and leads to localized heat checking or blue spotting as shown here. Continued operation in this manner drastically reduces performance and can lead to drum failure. The easiest way to avoid a mismount scenario is to simply follow the recommended installation procedures outlined in Webb's technical videos and the guidelines in TMC RP222, User's Guide to Wheels and Rims. If you have any questions, please contact Webb Wheel Products Engineering Department.